Hey guys, Jose Monkey here. Almost every day, somebody will ask me, have you ever been stumped and unable to find a location? And guys, of course I have. It would be really silly for me to try to claim otherwise. And I'm really okay with that, and I'm not interested in trying to pretend that I've never been stumped. So today, as I've done in the past, I'm going to show you a compilation of some videos that I failed to find and recently decided that I should just give up on. This is failure compilation number nine. Guys, real quick, if you are able to find any of these locations, feel free to let us know in the comments. But if you do, I have only one rule. Please explain how you found it. And it doesn't have to be super detailed, just tell us whatever clues helped you find this place. And if the answer is that you live near here or have been there before and you just recognized it, then just say so. Or if you used methods that I don't typically use, like looking at the person's profile or other videos, then just say that. Okay, let's get into it. All right, Jose Monkey. I will be thoroughly impressed if you can tell me where I am. Okay, guys, I am seriously bummed about this one. Because I figured out some really obscure clues here, and I was really proud of myself, but then I ultimately couldn't find it. This person appears to be standing on a small access road near what looks like a school. Also, this person's username is the Goat Teacher, and his whole vibe was giving, like, teacher or coach or something like that. We can't really see much in the video except for some sports fields and the school building itself. We can see some trees and stuff, but I didn't see anything particularly distinctive about the foliage, but let me know if you guys think otherwise. I wondered if the Vikings gear that this person was wearing was a clue. It could mean that this person is in Minnesota. Or it could mean that this school's mascot is a Viking, because sometimes schools will use mascots that are similar to the ones that professional teams use. Or it could just mean that this person is a Vikings fan. In fact, it's entirely possible that they wore the Vikings gear on purpose just to throw me off. Anyway, I tried looking at schools that have Vikings as a mascot, but that didn't really get me anywhere. The only real lead I had was what looks like a pin on the lanyard that this person was wearing. I stared at this for a very long time trying to figure out what it was. I eventually decided that it looked like it was some kind of stylized skyline. Like maybe these are supposed to be buildings. We can also see the top of what looks like a logo at the bottom that has kind of angular lines. And after I looked at it for a very long time, I realized that on the left side of the pin, we actually have what looks like it might be a year, 2022. Thinking it might be a skyline, I tried to look at it more closely to see if I could figure out what skyline it was. And I noticed that there's one building that appears to have a rounded top to it. That made me wonder if this is the Reunion Tower in Dallas. If so, that would mean it was from an event that happened in Dallas, maybe in 2022, and I had a partial logo. And it's something that a teacher might be interested in. In the interest of time, I will fast forward and tell you that after a very long search, I found a logo that I thought matched. And that was for VEX Robotics, or V-E-X, I don't know how you say it. And I think that this pin was potentially from the 2022 VEX Robotics World Championship. That was held in Dallas, Texas. And guys, once I found that, I thought for sure I was going to figure this out. But it was way harder than I thought. I did all kinds of digging, trying to find out as much as I could about that event and the schools that participated. And I found a bunch of information about the event, but I was never really able to put it together to figure out where this was. I will tell you that I eventually gave up and looked at this person's profile to see if that would tell me anything about where it was. And that does reveal the location pretty quickly. I'm not going to say where it is, just in case you guys want to find this. But I had to give up on this one. Hi, Jose Monkey. <laughs> I want you to find me. Okay, some of you may remember that I attempted to find this location during the live stream that I did back in November. Honestly, I feel like this one might be doable. But I felt like you guys probably wanted some closure on this since I spent some time on it during the live stream, but now it's been like three months. The video shows what looks like a bike trail kind of out in the middle of nowhere. If you were on that live stream, you know that I spent a bunch of time looking for this. And then I looked for it more a few times after that. My best guess is that this might be somewhere along the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene's in Idaho. And honestly, I don't even remember how I got that far. If I recall correctly, I think during the live stream, I concluded that it might be in the Pacific Northwest or somewhere in that area, and I started looking for trails and I found one that looked kind of similar. Anyway, I mostly gave up on this one because it's been a long time and I didn't want anybody to conclude that I was trying to bury it. I just didn't find it. This video is for Jose Monkey. Let's see if you can find me then. Okay, this one is kind of funny to me because I have done videos that look a lot like this video. But sometimes the difference between a video you can find and one that you can't find is the difference of very small details. And in this case, I feel like the details just weren't there. This person's accent suggested to me that maybe they were in Scotland. But I'm the first to admit that I'm not very good at distinguishing between different accents from parts of the United Kingdom. I did think this was the UK, though. And I say that based on the license plates that I could see on the passing cars, which are white on the front and yellow in the rear. Oddly enough, this is another case where the person is wearing clothes from a sports team that is probably not where they are. This is an LA Lakers hoodie. But much like the person who was wearing the LA Rams lanyard in the video that I just did in Alaska, this was definitely not Los Angeles. But other than the fact that it was somewhere in the UK, I couldn't really figure out much else. The video is just a bit too blurry to get any details that were helpful. I was hoping for a house number, or maybe to find a company name or logo on the side of this van that goes past, or maybe see something written on one of these trash bins, but I couldn't see anything. And honestly, I usually spend a ton of time on something before I declare it a fail, but after like 25 minutes of looking at this one, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to find it. 
Once again, after I gave up on this one, I decided to see if I could figure out where it was by poking around on this person's social media, and I was able to find it pretty quickly. But I won't tell you guys in case you want to find it for yourself. But yeah, this was another fail. Yes, I'm also going to try this challenge. Jose Monkey, where am I? Okay, I have one more for you guys, and this is one that really pains me to have to give up on because I've been trying to find it for a long time. This person shows us some buildings and a communications tower, and we can also see that the building right here says Safaricom on the roof. So Safaricom is a telecommunications company based in Kenya. And I was really hoping I'd be able to find this tower. But guys, I tried all sorts of stuff. I did some data mining and looked at basically every single mast, antenna, or tower I could find in the OpenStreetMap database in all of Kenya. It was hundreds of them. And I think I looked at every one. I also looked for any place I could find that was labeled Safaricom. But I wasn't finding it. At some point, I hypothesized that this might be a school, because the blue and white motif that you see on these buildings is something that I have seen on other schools in Kenya before. I don't know if that's just anecdotal or if that's like a real thing, but I decided to go with that hunch. And I looked at a whole bunch of schools, some that were near towers and some that weren't, but I never found one that looked right. And guys, I was trying all sorts of stuff. I was looking at press releases from Safaricom about new towers and base stations that were being installed. I looked at the Safaricom Twitter account, but I wasn't getting anywhere. And after I'd looked for a while, I realized that this person had commented and given me some additional information. They actually narrowed it down for me quite a bit by saying that this was at an institution in Nairobi. But I'm not going to lie, guys, that did not help me one bit. I even tried just scanning around on a satellite view looking at all of Nairobi, just trying to find that roof that said Safaricom on it. And I wandered around the virtual streets of Nairobi using Google Street View, hoping to spot this tower. And guys, I spent many, many hours looking for this. I have no idea how long. I started way back in August, and I've come back to this one several times. But I just don't know where it is. That's all for now, guys. Don't forget the International Week starts tomorrow, Sunday, February 25th. I'll be spending a whole week, maybe a little bit more, focusing only on videos recorded outside of the United States. I'm also not going to do any videos from Canada during that week because I'm planning a Canadian week at some point. If anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.